Today I want to show you how to bathe with your wrap on, of course, in your stitches. It's, I hear waterproof, but we're not taking these wraps off for the first two weeks. At least in my case, I'm not. So let me show you a little trick I found that I, I think you'll enjoy on how to prevent water from getting to this gauze. So what the number one tool we're going to use here, you find it at Lowe's, Home Depot, or, or Walmart even. Clean release. It's a pre-taped drop, drop cloth. This leading edge here, as you pull it out, will stick and will go around in a circle and it'll drop down like a like shingles on a roof. But you know, for me, that's just not enough. That, that something may get in there. So I use something that's in your kitchen. Peel and seal. Peel and seal by Glad. <laughs> you can use any brand. But I start by taking you know, approximately that much, or big you leg in. And I come, just like I'm putting on shingles on a roof, I start at the bottom where I want the most to make sure it's covered. And I start going around and sticking it to my leg. I sure wouldn't want to depend on this being my only waterproof, but it's my secondary. Proof. It makes sure water does not get in there. Boop. And so, but again, I'm just careful. I want, I want, I want more up here. So I come in with my second layer. That way, if water does get in, it's not gonna. If I did it backwards, it would want to go behind this, just like shingles on a roof. Let's take this guy. We're gonna do it again. Ooh, that may not have been big enough, but we're gonna. Cutting it off like I was making it something in the kitchen to fit on the, the tray. But look at that, I had enough. So that worked out good. Don't do that. Have more than enough. So there. Now that could almost be waterproof there, but that's that's not where we're gonna stop. I want to prevent water from getting down behind the peel and seal as well. So I take painter's blue tape, it's temporary tape, it doesn't stick very long. And actually it doesn't hurt to pull off very much. Barely noticeable. So I make sure the leading edge of that is sealed up. And come back to there. And press that down real nice. Okay. Now I take the uh, pre taped drop cloth. And this is a great. It, it, I don't trust yet that, that the, there's a little cutting edge on here that it'll cut it all the way through. So I have my scissors ready just in case. But this guy just pulls out. I come along that right up at the top of that leading edge. So I'm gonna put another piece of tape up there in a minute. And I just take that down, come around there, keep pulling it around. What an in great invention. Why am I, right there. And then I'm gonna seal that up nicely. You'll see that that'll all drop down. I have some scissors nearby. Well, this is day seven, by the way. Of course, I, I knew we did this the first day we came home from the hospital. So, sorry I didn't tell you about this earlier, but so now that, that is sealed up pretty good. Now that behind there, that's just gonna drop down. Just like a, a nice raincoat for all the work I've already done behind there. I'll put a little piece of tape in fact that I usually just pull it up from the bottom a little bit. Again, I, I want to seal that up nicely. So I know seams, but we get that blue tape again. I'm going to come between this blue tape, the, the, the other layer, and my skin now. So I have a real nice seal for my tape, for my plastics. Look at that. So that's all secure there. Is that sealed? I don't know. No, I'm not taking the chance. I'm going to seal it up. So I put that on there like that. And I don't want There's no where the water's going to go, but I, I go ahead just safety first. And put another seal up, that little seal that we had going on there. 
And I'm gonna put a little, another little piece there just to close it up, just so it's not blowing hard. <laughs> and there you have it. I want to teach you how to get in and out of the shower. I, maybe you're like me, most of the USA, we don't have giant showers I used to, but now we have these normal little ones. And so there's not enough room for a, a shower seat in here or my walker and all these other things. So we talked about how to keep your leg dry, but once my leg is protected, how do I get in and out of this thing? So it's easy. I oh, uh, The shower's running now. Uh, no, the shower's not running. I just, I make my way over here. Uh, my wife actually brings me that floor mat later, but I, I kind of, I do the side step gentle. I pick up the walker and I come on in. More side step. I side step again. I reach over, push the shower head away and then turn on the water and I wait a minute or two, however long it is for you, wherever you live, for the water to get warm. And then when it's time to shower, I, I do the side step again, get that walker inside of here and I step down. Now this is the, you know, this is day two or three that you'll be doing this kind of thing. And, and I slowly kind of, now I'm, I'm feeling really secure with my leg after this many days. And, at first, I just leave the, the walker half in and out. That way, uh, yeah, the little water gets out here, but I have to put another floor mat to catch all that. And then I just simply shower. I get ready. I have my shower bottles high. One time I dropped the soap. Honey! <laughs> she had to come in and bring myself. But, but anyway, I just shower in here. And I, my leg is protected, and I shower. Yeah, it's getting a little bit wet. And then after my, I shower, of course, I squeegee as low as I can without bending my knees. And then now I'm ready to step out. I get my walker ready, get my bad foot. I go probably opposite on this one, but this is how I get out. You just step out again. But now I've gotten to where I don't, I don't even need that guy. Uh, I, I have my cane here usually, and I just shower like that. But I'm a big guy, so <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> So I just hang on if I needed to, but I'm feeling really good. So again, I just step out. Everything's done slowly. If you go quickly, that's when you're gonna get into trouble. So just slow. There's no race here. We have many weeks to rehab, so just take your time. You don't wanna go backwards. Step on out, and then I, I dry off. It's pretty simple. That's how you get in and out of the shower safely. Well, today's day nine. You can argue eight, nine. It was a week ago Monday. Today is Wednesday. Today's a Tuesday. Today's a Tuesday. This will happen to you. You don't know what day it is that you have family members who remind you. So we're calling this day nine.